Found it. All right. So I found this last night. Um, <clears throat> it is a uh, it's a Little Mermaid game that I had never played before for the uh, Game Boy Advance. Um, if I can center this a little bit here. Scoot you over. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right. So yeah, um, found this game. It's a Little Mermaid game for the Game Boy Advance. It is basically a run through of the movie. It's kind of a bunch of mini games and stuff, but I had a fun time playing it. I played it twice last night. Um, not a lot of speed run going on for it in the community, so I figured, hey, why not? I like mermaids. Because I am one, and I like speedrunning, and I like Game Boy. This is all perfect, so we're going to go ahead and just, you know, give this a, get an official time here. I timed myself last night, I got like around 20 minutes, which is slightly underneath um, the second place time on speedrun.com. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's take a crack at this. I already need to reset because I forgot to hit the timer. That's great. Let's reset. So are you ready for this, uh, Trace? I'm I'm almost certain you have never seen this game before, and that's fine by me. Um, it's it's actually kind of interesting. There is definitely there's definitely some speed nuance you can get playing this game. Alright, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Mash through menus, mash through menus. This is definitely, this is a game that has some, some menu mashing. Whole flounder. I blew this because I missed. I must have I must have forgotten to pick up that that one from that previous room. Oh well, we got this. First run. Mistakes are going to be made. Whoop. Once again, get the whole flounder. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, that was bad. Time for some RNG. Nope. Nope. Got it. Yes, by the way, saving sunken treasure will, will make the ship sink less fast, apparently. boost through that entire thing. It'd be a little more proactive about dodging. Hands getting tired. All right. I'm giving my hand a little bit of a break from mashing. I'm hoping I get t content flagged for this. That'd be embarrassing. Drag this lip caricature from end to the surface. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, same song. I think this is the last bit.
boom boom dollar this ain't. But then again, what is? Just gotta get a few more. Save a super merm. <laughs> How did I not think of that, Trace? Oh my gosh. No, I think the draw distance of this game is, is farther than Superman 64, though. To be perfectly honest. I can see several feet in front of me. It's an improvement. So, this stage is actually probably one of the harder bits of the game. It's actually not that hard to die here. Um, so, let's see how we can do here. I think not being in midair when that tutorial prompt pops is going to be important. Ugh. Also, just, yeah. Okay. Need to not get fancy with this early bit, because those tutorial pops will just stop you in your tracks. Safety crab. Hashtag safety crab. Okay, I think this is 
is the last bit of the stage. Try not to get hung up on things. Definitely going to need... Come on. Yeah, I know, I need to get a thing. There we go. I should be safe for the rest of this now. Hey, remember all those stages in video games that are like sniper missions or like the first Assassin's Creed with all those like tailing missions and stuff? Imagine that, but with a mermaid who grew legs who is really horny for this guy. Much like all those AD accounts that you follow but don't tell anyone about, our job is to facilitate the horny. I was not at all paying attention to the prompt, so that's not going to save us any time. I was too busy talking. And yes, just like real love making, the faster we get this over with, the better it will be for everyone. is actually the same route every time also. So eventually I can probably just like have it memorized, but it's not that hard to do. This game looks kind of awful, but I also totally love how it looks. It reminds me a bit of a, um, like a Sierra adventure game, like Space Quest V. It's got that real sort of low detail rotoscoped kind of look to it. Alright, this is the part that I tend to blow. I say tends to, having only played this a couple of times. Alright, just gotta focus. these like sections where the buttons pop up like it tends to freak my brain out and I just sort sometimes I choke and just like I go for the wrong buttons I don't know it's, it's probably how they're designed also I'm pretty sure these are actually random oh, that bit that's that is a speedrun bit right there that first bit is a tight window it's funny like I think parts of this game were designed in a speedrunning sense really very strange. Alright, All right, here we go. Big final fight. Oh no! Tentacles! This reminds me of, like, most World of Warcraft flight path missions. 
and stuff post Burning Crusade. So many point the cursor and shoot quests. I love how the, the health pickups appear, but then actually just drop into the water. I think that's pretty funny, actually. It's like, no, you don't want me? Fine. I'm gonna get me. Yeah, I see ya. I, just, I really love the head just peeking over the horizon. Hey, what's going on over here? Hey. You hitting my tentacles? Stop it. Fine. Here we go. Big final finish. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. The human did it. I don't really remember in the movie the part where um, Eric fires nets at tentacles to stop. And yeah, she gets legs and they kiss. Save this game. Nah. So, uh, not a world record. Um, I think it's technically a personal best, though. It's my first recorded one, so it's actually technically a personal best. But yes, that is Little Mermaid. Magic of Magic in Two Kingdoms? Magic in Two Kingdoms. It's a neat game. Legs and, legs and a kiss, the game. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, it's a neat game. I dig it. Um, I'm going to save these splits. And let's see, I've got an hour left before I said I was going to get out of here. So...